Hi Virgo, welcome to your Week Ahead Tarascope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continue subby, thank you so much for all of your support. <coughs> Excuse me, it truly means the world. With that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look, see what the week ahead has in store for you. What is the destiny card? The destiny of the overarching energy or theme for your week ahead. And this week you get the Empress. What a great card, right? So your destiny this week is to give way to passion, to enjoyment, to really tap into the beauty and the enjoyment and the fertility that life has to offer you. The destiny card with the, the Empress <clears throat> asks you to connect to the spirit of and when i say goodness i don't mean like like you know with a fairy wand and glitter dust and all that well maybe you know who, who knows i can't imagine a tutu would look very good on me though um, <laughs> ah come on raf um this is about tapping into the goodness and the beauty and the joy and the abundance of life this is about taking it easy. This is a week for you to enjoy good food, good wine, to spend time with friends and family, to go to the places that you truly love, to connect to nature. This is a week for you to really plug yourself into the mains of life, whatever that means to you. And when I say the mains of life, yes, uh, energetically for sure always you know that's always one of the things that I'm always aiming to do but I mean physically live in the world you know put your hands on tangible things touch the ground put your feet in the sand in the grass in you know even if it's cold outside you know let the elements touch your skin tap into the beauty that is all around you cook a good meal for yourself for your partner for your loved ones uh, you know find something or you know things that give you nostalgia or make you remember when you were a kid uh, all of that sort of stuff um, is really highlighted for you this week so let's have a look at the direction how does this play out what does it pertain to what is the extra information that you might want or need in order to make the best of this week ahead and this week you get the three of swords right so the numerology has been intensely on point this week right it's so crazy like i think three signs already have had like a double up of numbers or even one sign had like the same number throughout their whole reading which is uh, you know really immense but the numerology is really working this week so i feel like this is a heightened week for manifestation i feel like it's a week where we really want to pay attention to what it is that we want to where it is that we truly want to go this is one of those another one of those kind of weeks where you think it and it will show up so make sure that you're thinking good you know good make sure that you're thinking wholesome uh you know abundant thoughts that are going to bring you and deliver you ideas and inspiration of the things that you actually want and need in your life because the thing about number energy numerology energy it tends to speed things up right so even though you're supposed to take it easy and take your time with this week, think about that, right? Things are gonna show up that you're literally manifesting. So if you're in a funk, you're gonna keep manifesting that. So snap yourself out of it as soon as you possibly can. Interesting that I'm talking about that then, right? Because you've got the Three of Swords, which is about letting something go, let it go. There's that tutu again. Uh, you know, I know all of you are right now thinking, oh, fuck me, like you can see Raph on stage, like, let it go. <laughs> Uh, this is a week for you to find a way to do that, right? All jokes aside, all of that aside now, the Three of Swords is about separation. It's about letting something go. The fact that it's your direction card, life is supposed to be the destiny. It's supposed to be easy and fun and vibrant, abundant, fertile, joyous, uh, luxurious even, right? And it can't be that if you're holding on to crap and baggage that just doesn't serve you. 
So that's, you know, I've talked about the numerology. You've got a double hit of the number three. Communication, self-expression. What do you find beautiful? What do you find beauty in? Do you see beauty in yourself? Are you looking at yourself through the eyes of beauty and love and abundance? If not, then change that vibration. Whatever it is that's, uh, that's holding you back in some way, shape or form, it's time to let it go, let it go. <laughs> right, anyway. With that said, I wanna ask you a question. Is there something that you have been struggling with? Something that you feel like has been, something that you've really wanted to do or to start or to get off the ground, but had nothing but problems or issues with that just doesn't seem to come off in the way that you want it to? Well, what if I told you I could take you on a journey and continuously support you in that journey on your way forward, right? To find what the blockage was, and I mean the main blockage that was really holding you back from achieving this goal, right? And I'm not talking about a tick list or a checklist or any of that stuff. I mean the real issue at the nitty gritty to get in there and find out where in your history it came from. To then take that issue and literally sever ties with it, to show you how to release it, how to remove it from your life, to unpick that whole thing so that you could really look into, uh, you know, releasing it and removing it from your life. And then charge you up to really give you, um, you know, like to charge you up and turn you into like a mini lightning rod with uh, and shock you with abundance and love and light and ultimately success and energy and power to get that, that thing that you wanted to achieve uh, in your life, in your vicinity, in your immediate future. And then to utilize FLP to shoot you off into the future, to show you what that success looks like, to highlight to you what the successes were, and if there were any, any pitfalls or holdbacks, how you navigated them to get to your success. Well, that's what Tribal Tuesday is all about. Yes, I'm still banging on about this because I really believe in it and I really want you guys to be there. So if you're interested in that and you feel like you have something that you pretty much know I will do my damnedest to get you to, uh, towards, please click the link in the description box below and take a look. Uh, still, still accepting applications. So with that said, let's have a look at your insight, all right? What is the insightful message that the tarot has to deliver to you this week that you need to know about? And this week, ooh, you get... The Two of Cups, right? So this is basically saying this is a fantastic week. Your connections, right? The people that you love and care about, new connections are coming through. For some of you, this is letting go of people or connections that no longer serve, that right, that just don't operate on your wavelength or on your vibration. And this week you'll be really sensitive to this stuff. With the Destiny card coming through as the Empress, you will be very sensitive to your environment, to the people in your environment, to the people that you're working with or around or for. You're gonna be really heightened to that. So the insight is basically saying, you are going to want to shift your environment and also your connections. This is about enhancing the connections that you have that are already great, removing and letting go of the ones that aren't, and ultimately with the Two of Cups as your insight, this is saying to you, you have the potential to go really far forward with whatever it is that you are trying to do, right? The Two of Cups always is the, it's a beautiful card. It's the, a great starting point because it basically says, I want to become the Ten of Cups, right? So when you start with the Two of Cups, it basically says you're already starting in the right direction. You just need to sustain that. And the best way to do it is to constantly check and edit your vibration. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you. Take care and I'll see you soon.